I'm super excited about today. Trust me, I am super duper excited about what is about to happen. It's going to be a great time. It's not going to be a waste of time. Trust me on this. Just like I always say that parenting is a personal ministry. It's a personal call. Your vision determines what you're going to achieve. Don't forget, as we always say, that only the vision guides. So about parenting, the vision must guide. So we were talking about positive parenting today. And if there's something that I'm very sure about for you to achieve a positive parenting is to ensure that you are emotionally stable. Your emotional stability is a must for every parent. Be it a caregiver, be it an intending parent as you are already learning, or a parent. Your emotional stability is immersed. And that is why we are talking about positive parenting today. So you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. I'm so excited to be having you all joining me today. And I'll be bringing in the guests shortly. It's going to be a very wonderful time. It's going to be an amazing time. In the world that we live in today, that corruption, legalism, prostitution, and so many atrocities is happening. So what is your own duty as a parent? What are you doing as a father? Most parents, most father things when we talk about parenting, it's about the mom. It's not my business. No, parenting is for two, both mother and father. So whatever we are saying today, daddies, you are not left out. Yes, you, you are part of this. So we are talking about the fathers and the mothers. So what is your duty? What are you doing to ensure that your own glory, growing glory is going to better the society, our community, the, the world at large? So you have to ensure that your duty is to raise the super duper great children so that they can better the community and the society at large. So I'll be bringing in the guest speaker. She's really a wonderful person. I'll talk more about her, but I want her to be here with me when I'm doing the introduction. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Keep sharing, keep sharing, invite your friends, families. It's going to be an amazing time today. All right, I think she's already sending me an invite. All right, I'm just going to hide her now. Okay. So this is a special, special, special edition of Parenting Essentials. And if you are seeing my face for the very first time, my name is Oye, and I am Oye Layo. I am your parenting coach, and I'm bringing in another parenting coach who is going to be doing this with me today and talking about positive parenting. I'm trying to bring in our guest. So please note as we go ahead, as she's doing the teaching, as we're talking, you can drop your comments. You can drop your questions and concerns on the comment section. You are free to drop comments. Whatever you want us to talk about, just drop it at the comment section. But if you feel that it's too personal, you don't want to make it public, go ahead and send us a messenger. We are going to check it right away, and we are going to address your question. So feel free, just ensure that you are sending in your questions, sending in your questions. I can see Adeyin Kalashe Yori. Thank you for joining in, my darling sister. God bless you. I can see you right there. And I'm trying to bring in the guest. I, I, because here we have to ensure our VPN is on. So this is not just for mommy, just like I said before. So what are you doing? What is your vision as a parent? What are you doing to ensure that your own growing glory is not going to be a problem to the society? A lot of problems that we have these days, they tell it's the government, it's the environment, but everything starts from home. What is your role? What are you doing as parents? It's a wake up call. Stop complaining. So we are back again. So hopefully it's going to go through this time. I'm just trying to bring in the guest. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Kikumi. It will work. Yes, it will work. I like that. Thank you, sir. Well, Michelle, I'm waiting for you. Once you are there, can you play? Yeah, the request is already back. Yeah, can you connect? Oh, finally, my mama is here. Good to see you. 
Ah, uh, the devil oh, is a bastard. God. Today, we have to talk about parenting. I am super duper oh, excited. Yes. Come on, guys. Let's wait for people to join in. She's right here. She's right here. Thank I'm you, Mr. Kitum. Yes, she's here. Too. Thank you for joining, sir. Yes, let's wait for people to be back because a lot of people joined initially, so we want them to be back. Thank you yeah. so much. Okay. I am super, super Good happy to be, to be here. here. <laughs> I'm very happy the to have you here. God. Yeah, I'm excited. To Thank, be you, here as well. Thank you, Mama. I'm Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Same here. I'm very, very happy I to be having you. What, so we're just gonna wait for one I minute. I love what you're doing. I love Thank what you, you're doing. Thank you're doing a Thank great job. I celebrate you, B. I celebrate you, really. Thank, I Thank you very you. much. I love what you're doing. Just, Let Thank me you, Mama. Just like share. Mama, like Let daughter. Oh, Go definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna share it so because let's yes okay I need to share again for please kindly to... share for me yes yes uh yeah so, yeah I'm gonna share it also now so that people can join in we can get started so while we wait for people in yeah. case you want to know this is my beautiful mama right here and uh, I've known Yay. this beautiful mama for almost two decades almost two decades. By next year, it's going to be wow. two decades. Yes. Right from university wow. days. So I've known her for a long time. She has been mama to all right from the beginning. She's been oh, mama great. to everybody. She's been the one teaching us, you know, this is how you do it. This is how you get ready. This is how you do it. So it's very, very, it's a, it's a very great privilege for me to be doing this with you today. I am not taking oh, this for granted. I, I am not taking this for granted. And thank you for saying yes. Thank you for saying yes. I am super grateful. Oh, so why will we still wait for people I, to join? Okay. I'm just going to go ahead with the introduction. So please don't forget that you can always send in your message, your question. If you have a request, you have a question, a concern, kindly drop it at the comment section drop your question but if you feel that your question is too personal you don't want to drop it you're not comfortable with dropping it on the comment section kindly message us send your message on a messenger we are going to see it right away and we're going to attend to it so we are going to get started so our guest today is one of my mamas that i love so much and uh Momishola Akintayo. Momishola Akintayo is a co-leader pastor at I Places Christian Center, Portacot, Nigeria. A chemical engineer by education who has found purpose in aspiring ladies to live a value-added life. Also inspiring, educating, and supporting parents to raise their children intentionally. I underline intentionally because it must be intentional parent, thereby raising productive adults. She is the president of Intentional Parenting Hub, convener of Ladies Connect, and the CEO of Daola Nigeria Limited. So you are welcome, Ma, once again. And I'm super delighted, very excited wow. to be having you on this episode of Parenting Essentials. So everybody, please know that this is a very super special episode of Parenting Essential. Just like I said before the network on uh, the, uh, the first uh, stream, if you're just seeing me for the first time, my name is Hoye. Hoye Laya. I am Hoye Laya. And I am your parenting coach. But today I am not doing this alone. I am here with my big mama on this parenting talk. And the topic for today is going to be about positive parenting. Just like I said, she is a, yeah, she is a founder of the International Parenting Hub. So I'm going to get started by asking you, mama, what brought about intentional parenting? I hope you can hear me clearly. Hello, are you there, Mama? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me too? All right, very, very good. Go ahead. Over to you. Yes, okay. I can. All right. All right. Um, I like to quickly. 
appreciate you. Thank you very Thank you, much. Mommy. That was an awesome introduction. Thank you very much. I can't even believe is getting to two decades that yes, we've known that ourselves. True. Thank you for bringing that back to my memory, you know. But I, I just can say that it's been long, way mm. long. And we connected back then, and then we are still connecting till now. Thank, thank God for his mm. mercies over us. And thank you for bringing me to, to your community. Thank you. Thank we you are for so having happy to me have at you. the Vision Guide. Our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you I celebrate you big. You are doing a great job. More grace thank you, mommy. in the thank name you of much, Jesus. Mom. Amen, well amen. done. Amen. All right, amen. sweet. You you asked, you said what brought about intentional parenting. Um, okay, if you are hearing me for the first time or you're meeting me for the first time, everything she said at the introduction is just it. So I'm not just not gonna add anything else. So she's done a great job. Okay, you, um, about five, six years ago, I being a pastor and then having the privilege of counseling people, families, couples, and um, from personal experience as well, um, I noticed that for a while, a lot of challenges that people come up with, most especially families, couples, sometimes it's the father and mother that are having issues, but then when you trace and dig deep, started from the issue of parenting or they have issues with one particular child and then either father is blaming mother or mother is blaming father you know things like that or they are totally confused they don't know the next thing to do or um after they have done they've used one particular style they've gone through a particular route and then they discover that that route was actually bad and then they begin to feel guilty and things like that so it kept coming in the area of counseling, in the area of, um, there were a lot of such issues that were really confronting me that people would come and talk to me about. And then, of course, you and I know that the rate at which um, this age and this time is fast evolving, changing, things are happening. And they are not just happening, they are happening very fast. Mm -hmm. A lot is happening. And then God began to raise the burden of proper parenting in my heart and it began to raise the body it began to raise the body at first i thought it was just for me and my children and so i would put in all my best put in all my energy on my children it was more like i was pouncing on my children you know like oh you these children you just cannot be bad you just cannot be <laughs> something else that god does not want and then in the place of prayer, I will spend more time praying for my children, praying for the children under our covering in church. And then only for me after a while, through the Holy Spirit to discover that it's beyond personal. This is more. Because I began to have interest in other children. I would literally go out and see a mom and a child having injuries. It doesn't matter where. And then you see me leave what I'm supposed to do. I'll go to that parent and begin to talk. And after I finished talking, I'm like, shall I call you into this matter? <laughs> and then, you know, all of that. Kept I can imagine. I can self. relate. <laughs> you, I... All of that kept coming up. Yeah, you can relate. Mm -hmm. All of that kept yes, coming up over time. Then, of course, you know the way Holy Spirit would put body in and then give you clarity with time. And then it became clear that this is an area he, he really wants me to do at that time. He wants me to dwell on Hallelujah. it at that time. Before then, I was already working on Ladies Connect. I was doing more of ladies stuff and all of that. And then when parenting came in, I was like, oh God, can I combine? How will it be? What exactly do you want? And then it began to, I believe it began to strengthen me. It began to give me mm -hmm. wisdom. It began to lead me. And then I saw that more were coming in and then one of the nights i was praying and i just i was praying about the parenting i didn't even know it was going to be intentional parenting i had not started anything online but i was already working underground i was already doing a lot of stuff on parenting not online though sometimes i would post some things on my 
personal page on Facebook. And then while I was praying one of the nights, and then he told me that parenting has to be intentional. Hmm. Parenting has to be intentional. I said intentional. It was as if I've never heard the word intentionality before. So I said, okay. Then I went to dictionary all over again, checked. I said, good. I said, so what I'm doing is intentional parenting. And that same night, that same night, I opened the Facebook page, Intentional Parenting with uh, Shola Kitayo. And then it started driving from there. And through that platform, by God's grace, a lot have been blessed. Um, mm. I've, I've had to chat up people. I've had to talk to people, cancel people that I've not met, even up till now. And I'm excited about it. I'm always happy. When it comes to parenting, honestly, I'm going to tell you this truth now. When it comes to this parenting thing, I think the joy in this parenting is louder than the joy in Ladies Connect. You can say <laughs> so, that again. You can say that again. And then God has been, yes, God has been opening doors. He's been helping us Glad. and helping the team impact lives generally. Okay. So that's it. <laughs> Uh, very, 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 very good to have you one more time. And that was a very great testimony. As we have heard, so intentional Thank parenting you. is God ordained. It's ordained by God because God knows that a lot of children are suffering out there. A lot of children are yeah. just moving around with parents without vision, sure. without vision. Mm -hmm. So that, that, with that, God brought to our mama with the, uh, the vision of intentional parenting. I said in one of my videos, I said, your children, your mirror. So your children, your mirror. Exactly. If you don't know yourself, how do you even want to mirror your child? You cannot even say, exactly. this is who you are. You don't have vision yourself. Yeah. You don't know where you're going to. You are a leader, but mm -hmm. you don't know where you're going to. It means those who are following you, who are your children, are going to be misled. So that is the whole purpose of us exactly. coming together to talk about parenting. It's a very deep thing. It's a, for me, I see it as a first ministry. Your children, your mirror. The world is, a lot of things is happening yeah. in the world. A lot of things, you know, you can see children, you're like, oh my goodness. You miss some, you are going to meet some parents. I've met parents that I feel like I should just give a slap right now. Because, you know, <laughs> it, the parent doesn't exactly. even know what parenting entails. I made a video also sometimes mm. back, I said, after marriage, what next? It doesn't matter if you fell in love with a guy. It doesn't matter if you agree in love. That's not my business. That's up to you. But after wedding, yeah. what next? When the children come, mm. start coming to the picture of being, having a bigger family. So a lot of people are not, they, they didn't picture this. They don't, they don't have the picture of their children being the, in the family scenario. And they, do, yeah. they are not intentional about being a parent. Because I strongly believe yeah. that intentional parenting is also positive parenting and that is what we're talking about exactly. today so we have to be intentional yeah. about our parenting i said it in the first train before it went off i said your emotional stability whatever uh, we're going to be talking today your emotional stability is a must for you it's to important. be able mm. to have an intending mind to parenting you have to be emotionally yes. stable so as parent, mm. and I said also before, this is not for the mommies alone. It's for both fathers and mothers. So because I've seen that, exactly. you know, it's not my business. It's, no, 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 no. The super dads. I made a video about uh, busy and be guilty. So if you have not seen it, just go to on our YouTube page. It's, everything is there. So super dads, you are also part of parenting. It is not your wife's duty. Like, just go do it. It's for mommies. No to raise amazing children, who is going to better our community, our society, the world at large, it must be intentional. Yeah. It means you have to have yeah. a vision. You have to, I don't want to talk too much. This is not my talk today. It's for mama. <laughs> so I just want you to also talk more uh, about the relationship it, yes, between uh, 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 positive parenting and uh, intentional parenting. How, yeah, I believe it's the same, but what are the relationships and how can we be intentional in our parenting? All right. Okay. Thank you. Right. Talking right. about the relationship between intentional parenting and positive parenting is because you are intentional. That's why you, you'll be able to parent your children positively. Yes. It is intentionality towards parenting your children positively. 
That's the major relationship. The fact that you have made up your mind to have positive impact on your children, to raise adults that will be productive in the future, to raise adults that will not be a problem to the family, to the nation, to everyone around them. That is positive. Positive simply means something that is right, right? Something good. Okay. But it goes beyond you having that decision. The intentionality being added to it is you being, um, having this drive and this assurance of this is the way I want to go. This is how I want to do it. And I'm going to follow it through. You know why you need to be intentional even after you've made up your mind that you're going to parent your children positively? Because a lot of challenges in personal life. You have your career, you have your love life, you have your business, you have probably um, the extended family, you have every other thing, your world, your life, Okay, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Good, okay. So, I can hear you, you now. have your life. You have... Good, okay. You have, you have your life. You have um, every other thing apart from the parenting that is also part of you. And so, if... That is the case. When it comes to parenting, you have to be intentional. You have to be intentional. You have to be intentional. That's the intentionality. It, see, it's not a piece of cake to raise children. One of the challenges I get to face when I counsel some parents these days is that um, sometimes some parents just want me to even after you've been able to sort out, okay, this is the issue. This is what the problem is. This is what this child is experiencing now. This is how you're going to help the child. And they're asking you, like, you should prescribe what they can use morning, afternoon, and night. I said, I'm not a medical doctor. I don't have drugs. I don't have medications. It's a process. And you must be intentional that you want to overcome this challenge with this child. You want this child to be all right, to be okay. And so you have to follow through. There are a lot of things that will drag us here and there. You have your life. You, you, if you're a career parent, it, your parenting will compete with your career, will compete with your business. And then it will leave you on the platform of you trying to set your priority. Even in the midst of having everything being important, you, it will lead you to that point that you have to set your priority. You have to make out your list. You have to check which is more important. You have to check where to invest your time more, on your children or your job or making money or building the mansion, buying the latest car or whatsoever. It will drive you to that point. And it is intentionality that will help you make the right decision. And so... Positive parenting and intentional parenting are interwoven. They are together. They are together. In the first place, what are you going to be intentional about? To parent your children positively. Yeah. To get the right result. To raise good adults. To raise adults that wouldn't be a danger to the nation, to the world. To raise children that by the time they become adults, even you as a mother, as a father, because you have been intentional, you can rest. You can have peace all around you, you know. So, so that's it, basically. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for that. I really love that. Setting priority. Please be on the line at this point. Yes. It is very important for us to set priority. We have to prioritize. What's come first? Is it my job? Is it the car that I want to buy? So many times I've walked away on jobs here. People think sometimes I'm crazy. Like, are you okay? Because my, my parenting comes first. That is your first ministry. So we have That's to ensure... Your priority. 
the priority. Mm -hmm. So we have to ensure that we prioritize our parenting. Our children comes first in whatever situation we might find ourselves, children first. Uh, recently, I spoke about selfish parent. So I want us to talk more about that. So in, uh, in the last video that I made, I was talking about selfish parents, you know. So there's some things that we feel we're showing love to our, parents, our children. We're showing them love. No, I have to give everything. I was talking about, especially those who waited. Like, you know, I waited for 20 years. I waited for 15 years. Or because, you know, I, a lot of people, because of what they went through growing up, because they didn't have all. Mm. They feel now that I have everything, I should give my child everything. Even what is good or bad for the child. No boundaries. No boundaries. So, and I call this personally as being selfish. In case you don't know, you're watching me. This is Oyelayo telling you, don't be a selfish parent, oh. Like we say in Nigeria. So ensure that you are not a selfish parent. Being selfish as a parent can be in so many ways. It can just even be something that you don't even know that this is really bad. You feel it's love. Showing our children love, affection, care, motivation, whatever we think you want to show them, must, we have to ensure that we want to make sure that they are better person in the future. You know, even in the punishment that we use, I talk about reinforcement sometimes back. If you're talking about reinforcement, even if you're using both negative or positive reinforcement, the punishment or instinction, we have to always check again, am I being selfish? Because sometimes we punish our children because, you know, because you want to, you want to watch TV or you want to press the phone and your child kept coming to you, mommy, I need time. No, go away, shouting. It's being selfish. I told you don't come back to me. But it's obvious. You are not doing something very important. You're just pressing your phone, chatting with your friends, wasting away. The things, you know, they are not even productive, productive things that you're talking about. And you're going to punish your child on that because the child came again to ask, Mommy, I'm waiting for you. Know that you are a selfish parent. And I'm not apologetic mm -hmm. about it. Don't be and don't be selfish. you don't yes. have to be. <laughs> don't and, and you have to be intentional intentional so uh, yeah. being selfish i really want you to talk and tell us okay what are the things you feel this is being selfish these are not good things i talk about maybe some people you know not talk, you feel this love maybe when you're going you're growing up you're sucking your tongue or you had a particular issue maybe academically it might be dyslexia or whatever it is that you think you struggled with and you know with time you grew out of it it might be speech delay it might be speech. It might be mm. maybe in the gross motor skills or the fine motor skills. Maybe you're not very good. It was, you know, the cognitive wasn't there on time. And you feel like, okay, you went through that. And because your child is going through that now, you feel it's okay. Uh, even me, I didn't, I didn't stop sucking until 15. And you feel it's okay for your child to still be sucking at seven. Anyways, it's not, I, I was up to 15, you know. So many things like that. I was, I was doing so many things. I couldn't even talk up to five. My child is just three. So why should I bother? For me, I call it being selfish. It is not love. Kindly underline it. It is not you showing your child love. You are not showing your child support. You feel, I want to show I love. No. You have to admit. You have to recognize the challenge. I do not call it a problem. Because it's just a challenge that we go with time if you identify it. So identify the challenge. This child, maybe you can see, is a little bit of hyper, hyperactive. The good thing is, this is not about Christianity, it's about parenting. However, the two of us that are talking today, we are believers of God, and we believe so much in the power of prayers. I, say, I do say something, and I will say it again. If you see a problem in the life of a child, like a challenge, don't let me use the word problem, a challenge, maybe speech delay. Maybe it's the, 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 the stepping that is not good enough, you know, or very hyperactive. It is good for you as a good parent to acknowledge that this is not so good and to say to yourself, I am not accepting it. So the way you can say you are not accepting it is for you to start working on it. If your child needs therapy and you're saying, no, 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 no I love my child. I can't do that to my, who told you that? Who's telling you that therapy is the, like, is the death sentence? No. So we have to do what we have to do as parents. And it's been intentional because you know the kind of child you want to raise. So if you yeah. don't do all those things, if you overlook, I call you a selfish parent. So I just want Michelle also to just say our own view. What are the things? You, yes. What are the things you see in parent that you say that this is being selfish? It's not a positive parenting way, or they are not intentional about parenting. So I want you to just go in line with being selfish. The things you've seen in the past years. Uh, with your experience, the, 
uh, okay, this is not positive parenting, they are not intentional, and they are being positive. Over to you, ma'am. All right. Okay, talking about parents being selfish, um, let me start by saying, you, you, you've really given us um, wonderful points. Let me start okay. by saying that um, every human being is a product of nature and nurture. Every human being, including parents, every human being, and including these our little angels that we think are they just children. Yeah, my child. <laughs> Everyone that God created, doesn't matter who, but every human being is a product of nature and nurture. The nature part of it is the way you are wired. Even though the psychologists, um, they tried, the psychologists tried to um, explain it with temperament terms, saying that some are choleric, dominantly choleric, phlegmatic, sanguine, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. melancholy, and all of that. You know, in it all, there is a way that every human being is wired. That's the nature. And we all know that that nature is not 100% perfect. It has its own deficiencies. Its own deficiencies. A choleric would want everything done strictly and all that. But then, sometimes they get to have issues. They are goal getters, fine. But they get to have issues with other people who have other personalities being prepared. Uh, being dominant. They get to have issues with somebody who is a deep thinker. They are deciding on a matter immediately and then they are kicking off. And then somebody who is a deep thinker, a melancholy, would want to go sit back and think and think mm. and think. And a choleric is wondering, you're wasting time. You see, it doesn't make a melancholy a less human being. But then there are differences. That's where I'm going to. Parents need to begin to understand that it doesn't matter the age of a child. That child has his or her personal nature. And I've once thought about it that, um, that oftentimes as parents, we say, oh, this child is my carbon copy. <laughs> like we, we glory in it. We are excited in my carbon copy. Hey, parents, none of your child is your carbon copy. Because no child wants to come and live a life of photocopy. Mm -mm. Every child wants to glory in what God has embedded in them. They can have your traits. Fine. But they are not your carbon copy. And so when we parents have this understanding that our children have their nature, and then in this nature, there are some of the deficiencies that it is nurture that will fine tune it. <laughs> it is nurture that will help you help your sanguine child. Not to just be jumping about, jumping and having issues in making decisions. You know sanguine, they are very loud. When they enter a place, their mouth enter first before their body enters. When a sanguine if enters a place, you will know that this person is outgoing. It's, it's, and sanguines are full of life, they are full of ideas. Now, this is occurring to them. The next moment, another thing is occurring to them. And then, if they are not properly nurtured to be able to manage that their sanguine nature, hmm. if the nurture is not there for them to be able to manage their nature, then they won't come up, they won't come out well. That's a case where you will see a child who is a sanguine have full of ideas, full of life, full of energy, and yet you can't achieve anything precisely. You can't say this is what this child has been able to do. He's just there jumping here and there. The energy is there. And then there are other things he needs to achieve as well, ideas that probably God is giving him or skill is giving him or knowledge is bringing to him. And then because that thing is not fun to be with, he doesn't want to engage in it because he's a sanguine. He doesn't want to do anything that does not have fun. Anything he's not enjoying. But we have a lot of things that we don't have to enjoy, but then we get it done and we, we make impact through it. And then we have results through it. 
So every parent needs to understand that every human being is a product. You and I, children, adults, we are all products of nature and nurture. And that's where intentionality comes in. As a parent, you have to intentionally make up your mind to nurture your child. It doesn't matter his um, temperament. It doesn't matter his nature. When you nurture him, he can... Some people do not have... Um, can't manage their emotions properly. Why? Because they were not nurtured to manage their emotions. They are angry. They are breaking things. Check that child while that child was growing up. How many things did he destroy in your house? And he just felt mm. good about, oh, he's only a child. No problem. You'll be fine. You are a selfish parent. Mm -hmm. Tell them, mommy. Help the child. Help the child. Help the child. Let the child know that it's okay to get angry. But there is something called self-control where you can control the anger, where you can control the temper, where you don't have to break my TV because you are angry. You don't have to destroy your toy because you are angry. You don't have to hit something on the floor because you are angry. You can manage it. Are you angry? Fine, it's all right. It's good. You're, it's okay, it's fine to be angry. Of course, something tampered with your emotions. Something happened that you, you didn't like and so there's a disruption somewhere. It's allowed, but should you now go out of the way destroying things because you're angry? Who does that? Mm. So it takes intentionality for you to help that child to know that you can be angry, but don't, dis don't be destructive. So if you say, oh, anytime my child is angry, he's just, he, he doesn't want to hear anybody. He doesn't want to talk to anybody. He doesn't want to do this. Don't be selfish. Train that child to tame that nature. And then you both will enjoy it. I think it was last year, there was this video that went viral that one teenager was destroying everything in the mom's kitchen, mm. pulling down things from cabinet. And I was like, oh God, this child didn't start now. Definitely. You see, whatsoever happened, even if he's right, even if he was okay, even if what happened really, really got him angry. If he had been nurtured not to get to this point, there are better ways to express your anger, to express your feelings, to express your emotions, however you feel about anything. And so that's where intentionality comes in. And then I've also come across parents, like you said, probably for what they went through while they were growing up. Maybe they didn't have enough. And then now they are, they are so blessed that they can afford anything. And then they want to give the child everything and all things. And you know, our children's best language is, mommy, I want, daddy, I want. <laughs> it is I want that is their best language, their best sentence. Check how many I want you get to hear in a day, in a week, in a month, in a year. <laughs> They're almost done with the word I want. <laughs> and so when they say they want it's not a bad thing that they want something but you as a parent be intentional and in love to check what they want if it's good for them if it's going to add value to them if it's going to uh, be healthy for them if at that point they really need it because all of these things do you we still have to take them through the process of wastage uh, what you need, what you want. All of these things have a way of instilling values. In the point of, or at the point of somebody, a child asking, mommy, I want this. Don't just say, you don't need it, go away. Or, I, I don't want mm. to give you, uh, leave it. Explain to the child why the child does not need it. I know you want it, it's good. This dress is so beautiful. But you've got a lot of dresses now. Now, do you know we can save this money? Stylishly, you're already teaching that child how to overcome wastage, how to have self-control so that that child will not grow up and be buying everything and all things he or she sees. Eventually, we now buy what he or she does not need. You know, we have a lot of adults like that that are so, so, when it comes to buying, they are very, they are impulse buyer. They just buy anything and everything. Before the month runs out, they have used the salary that they did not, they, they've not worked for, that they've not paid them. Why? Because True. bad seller is coming, they buy Shoe seller has come, they buy. 
They are there. Uh -uh. <laughs> they are there. They are buying everything. Sometimes mm. it's even food. Food. As they see this one, they buy. They see that one, they buy. This seller is going to buy. They enter this entry. They are picking almost everything on the shelf, and you're wondering, oh boy, how are you going to do all of this? Mm. Do you really need it? So it's from now you're going to teach them that value where children can be able to separate what they want from what they need. And it won't jump on them overnight. You said something about what you don't have, you can't give. When we started the show, you were talking about, um, okay, let me use this word, modeling. Uh, if you're not a, if, you, if what you don't know as a parent, you can't pass on to your children. Yes. Now, if you are that type as a parent, you are not intentional about your lifestyle. You have not been able to get some things off your back, some bad characters, some things that are not right. You are also the, um, the couple, as a couple, you are also the shouting and fighting and beating type in front of your children. Then expect yeah. your children to break both. Definitely. Expect them not to have respect and regard for other people's No feelings. manners, no boundaries. Expect them. No boundaries. Expect that because this is what they are seeing and then they will act it out. Children are like sponge. So whatever you put on it, you, they are soaked. They drain it and they are seeing it. Mm. They see the way you're relating with your partner. They see you as a mom the way you're talking to their dad. They see you as a dad the way you're relating with their mom. They see how you talk to your friends. They see how you, they see your gesticulations. If you check it, Sis, I'm sure your daughter, once in a while, does some things that you do exactly the way you do it. Definitely. Sometimes she might be, no, I've seen them, I've seen them on the platform. They do the video and all of that. They cut it from you. I saw the video of my little princess and she said, oh, welcome. I said, yes, this one has watched our mother like, <laughs> you know, so that's it. We have to be intentional, and it starts from us because mm. we are their right models. It starts from us. It starts from us. We must be intentional to nurture them enough that we are not being selfish, leaving them to whatever they want. Mommy, I want to watch TV. Uh, uh, I want to watch TV. Okay, is it screen time in your house? Do you have routine? Is it screen time? Okay, even when you have to... Um, when you have to uh, break down the, when you have to go against it once in a while, okay, is it worth it? Is it worth it? So you, we ask ourselves questions regularly, especially when we are making up our mind and taking decisions on behalf of these children. That's it. Thank you. Thank you so very much, mommy, for that, that talk. Those are amazing. It's like you, you brought together like five of my videos that I've said, and you just, you know, you just bring it together in like 10 minutes. And that's so fantastic. Even, I wish we have more time I've been because I know my you time. Too. <laughs> oh, mommy. So, uh, uh, you know, and my time is blessed. Blessed. No, thank you, mommy. I can't say thank you very much. Uh, the time is gone. We don't have a lot of time, but be rest assured okay. that I'm going to bring her back again on this platform. I will definitely bring her back again. So if you have questions, out of all that she has said, kindly just save your questions and send them to Ross. And I promise you that I'm going to bring Mommy Shola back to Ross on Parenting Essentials. So you've said a lot. And it's like, okay, I'm just, I kept just trusting. This video, she just said it in one word. Wow, that's the, that's the advantage of you bringing your mommy to your, to your platform. So I really count it a great privilege. But I would just underline a few things out of what you have said. You know, I, I said in one of my videos, I said, don't tell your child, don't cry. So sometimes we don't know. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's not the parent's fault. They think it's okay. Don't cry. If you tell your child don't cry, you have not helped that child. You just added to more problems. Mm -hmm. Because the child is crying for yes. a reason. I did a video about uh, yes. tantrum. I hope I dropped that already. About tantrum. Tantrum doesn't just come. It's as a result of something. The child is, you know, is going through an emotional stress. There is a, you know. So when you yes. tell your child don't cry, the child is not just crying. Is crying for a purpose, either good to you or bad. The purpose while the child is crying might not be meaningful to you as a parent, but to that child at that particular moment, that is, it, it makes sense. So it makes either sense. you ask your child, why are you crying? That is when you right. can know how to help the child. Right. <laughs> oh. so, yes. 
So, uh, yes, and you said something about the video that went viral the other time about the boy that was throwing things around. Yes. I also saw the video. And the truth is that that can never start that year. It's a build up thing, it has been happening. Yes. But now the parent is putting out, see my child. You know, apparently it's the parent, I, I cannot say, it, I'm not trying to blame the parent, but it's a build up of issues before it got to that yes. point. And that brings yes. us up yes. to what you were saying about the nature and nurture. Nature and nurture is very important, but the power of nature supersedes us. At the nurture, you have to nurture your child. So somebody who is raised in ghetto, who was born in the, by, uh, in the slum or something that the, the parents are poor, if the child is nurtured very well, the person can end up to be the president of the nation. He can end up to be oh, the yeah. best person of the, because of the good nurture. So the importance of nurture yes. cannot be overemphasized. So we have to ensure that we, yes, we have to ensure that we nurture our children is our duty. Please, I know a lot of parents are fainting at this particular time. A lot of things are happening in the world at large. We can see things, corruption, you know, you see some children, you cry and weep. So we are doing this, coming together Very so that we can help the society. Yes, so that we can ensure that the community, the country, the world at large is a better place. And how can we do that? To ensure we are doing our positive parenting intentionally. And this can be done only when the vision guides. How can the vision guide you? You have to know, this is what I want my child to do. As a parent, I have a vision, I have a vision. My two years, this is the expectation. It's not because you're controlling their life or their destiny, but because you want to do your part as parent. Have a set goal positively and be intentional mm -hmm. about it. Your positive goals and things that you have, that is the vision. So when you can achieve this, when you cannot achieve, you know that I'm lacking this way, I need to do more. So that being yeah. intentional, being positive is what we are employing all parents to do. Right. That your child that is, yeah. maybe, you're, maybe some of the children here, especially in the part of the world that we live in, Mama, you know, there is something that I already call territorial demo. If you put 10, yes. uh, 10 kids, uh, in fact, 80% of children here will go for therapy. Here in Qatar, 80%. And it has mm. become so norm, like, they will tell you it's become normal and parents you know they are already accepting it and receiving it. it's okay a child can have speech delay can have maybe you know can go for therapy maybe it's occupational therapy whatever it is there's always a therapy to attend and i said to myself when i realized i said no no this is a territorial demo so it's high time we stood up as parents to address this yes and this can be done with only parents who are ready to be intentional so please, I am going to bring Mommy Shola back on this platform and I'll make sure wow. it's not like, it's going to be very soon. So ensure that you send us all your questions, all the, everything that you're seeing as challenges. It might be personal. That's why I know it's not easy to drop comments at the comment section. So you can also email us on the visionguide at gmail.com. Send in all your questions, your concerns, your worries. And I'll be again bringing Mommy Shola back on this platform and also the ones i can do before she come back i'll go ahead and address it so please don't yeah. be tired be intentional about parenting and uh i've said about the 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 nature and nurture yes and the emotional which are very very important things so i don't want to say too much and you also talk, talk about communication it's very important for us to communicate with our children you know many a times children Hopefully. tend to have a yeah, total tantrums and everything because they are not even getting your instructions they don't understand yes, but a lot of parents don't, don't know yes so the communication also have to be age appropriate so when you're talking to a child of two five ten it's not going to be the same way and i've seen parents same. who doesn't even know yes who doesn't even know how to age appropriately communicate to their children so you mm. have to ensure in order to pass aggression or to, to have, let your child have frust get frustrated, ensure that the communication is clear. It must be for, like for, for, uh, for toddlers, it must be in black and white. They don't understand. Don't ever use something like that. It must be black and white. The cop is there. The cop is there. Let yeah. them see. They don't right. understand. Don't say, can't you see the cop? That is not a statement for a toddler. And you tend shouting. You, yeah. tend, you, tend to be, you, get, you are frustrated. And that is why I said at the beginning of this, that your emotional stability, your emotional stability is, is a must. You have to take care of yourself first. 
Many a times we don't forget to take care of our, ourselves as parents, and we tend to pass mm. on our aggression and frustration onto our children. For a parent, a mother, a father who is ready to be intentional about parenting, you cannot do that. So, please, I want us to be intentional. I want I'll just say a very big thank you to you, Mommy Shola Kintayo, for this great honor. For you to agree to come to the Parenting Essentials from the Vision Guide. We are the Vision Guide are not taking this for granted. We see it as a very great privilege. I'm just going to say thank you everyone for joining us today. Thank you for being part of this special edition of Parenting Essentials from the Vision Guide. If you're seeing my face, this face for the first time, my name is Hoye Oye Layo, and I am your parenting coach. And we've just been having a great time with Mommy Shola Akintayo from Intentional Parenting Hub. So you can also follow her on her page on Facebook. Search for Intentional Parenting. I will try to share the link on Vision Guide, a link, so that you can, she's right there again. Let's see if you can just say bye to her. If you can just say bye to her. All right. Even as we're trying to connect with her, we say a very big thank you once again from all of us from the Vision Guide. We are not taking your coming for granted. We, are, we really appreciate that. Thank you very much. And don't say no to us. She's right there. Welcome back, Mama. So don't say no to us because we are going to call on you soon. We are calling on you soon and you're going to come back again and we do this together. Don't forget, parenting must be intentional. Only the vision can guide. Thank you once again, Mommy. Thank you so much for coming. And thank you, everybody, for connecting. Thank you for staying to the hand. We are not taking it for granted. We say thank you. Thank you. And please don't forget to share the video. Don't forget to follow our page. I am going to share it on my, on my personal page, on our, uh, the vision guide. It's Intentional Parenting Hub on Facebook. Kindly follow her on Facebook. You are not going to regret it. It's that, that is, it's, she's going to be a great blessing, just like you can see. This is not about uh, gain say or just talking. Just follow her, you're going to get blessed. You, she's going to guide you on how you can be intentionally. You can be intentional about parenting. Thank you once again for coming. And don't forget that all our videos are available on our YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe. It doesn't stay free of charge. Click the button. It doesn't buy. See, click, click, click. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified anytime we drop new videos. On the Vision Guide video, we have skits. We have many skits coming on the way. We have the Keeping It Real with PMP, PMP Fun City. And a lot of things are coming. So we don't want you to miss out on this. Kindly go and subscribe to our YouTube channel and click subscribe. I can hear okay. you. I, I, don't, right. know if, I, I, I don't know if you say want to say a word or Thank two. you for having me. Pleasure, ma'am. Like yeah, thank, thank you, you for having time. me on, on your community today. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And then I like to tell all parents that um, it's we're in a new era where if you need help, ask for help. You know, back mm. then, people would always want to save their problem to themselves. They are shy to communicate to somebody to say, oh, my child is behaving this way. And they say it's a family thing. Just cover it, cover it. And then the, old, the child is getting worse the situation is getting worse selfish parents selfish parents <laughs> yeah sign of selfish parents guide yes reach out to the vision guide she's available to counsel you to talk to you and it's not just an ordinary counsel it's a spirit inspired holy spirit inspired counsel direct solution that is unique for that your child's matter thank you Mom. so please reach out ask questions talk to her and then she can always guide you and you can't fail that vision won't fail thank God you God bless you thank you mom thank you, so thank, thank you so much thank you very much thank you so much you can see i have the right map the right mama and the right mentor, like mama, like daughter. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. And you said oh. something about, you know, ask question. I say, I do say it. I say, even in doubt, ask. Don't use your children as experiments. And that is part of the things we discussed because recently yes. we just, uh, yes, we just record, we recorded the, the real talk with moms. It's, it's, gonna, it's coming on Parenting Essentials. We have done the first uh, 
first one, the real talk with mom. And those are the things we address in real talk with mom. So look forward because you're not going to get the full video on Facebook. So you have to subscribe so that you can see all this talk, real talk with mom. So if in doubt, ask. Thank you once again, Mom Shola, for coming. Thank you, everybody. Mr. Akikumi, I can see you right there. Uh, uh, Sister Nidi, I can see you. Glory, as much. I can't see everybody because... Uh, yeah, Bella, I can see. Isabella, thank you so much for joining. God bless you. I am not taking that for granted. I wish I can see everybody at once, but it's not possible. But everybody, I say thank you, thank you. And please look forward to another great time together with my mama. And I'll be bringing more, more and more amazing people. A lot of people are said that we're doing this with me. So stay tuned. It promises to be an amazing time. But as you go, please hold this in your hands. Be intentional about parenting. Ensure that you are intentional about parenting. And don't forget, only the vision guy. Bye for now. Thank you so much, mommy. God bless you. I love you. Love you too. Bye.